Hi, y'all. I just spent eight minutes talking to y'all, and uh, my camera decided to lose it, so here I go again. I got Happy Meal today. Yeah, I know. I already opened it, right? And it's from Nancy Gorst. That's Nan's Next Knots, and she sent me two beautiful stitch markers. Here's the first one. That's the card she sent me. There's her information for folks. Nan's Next Knots. Really sweet lady. But she sent me a really beautiful cards. And wait, here's the other one. It's a St. Patty's Day card. Thank you. I love that. Now, the stitch markers. They are such a thing of beauty to behold. One is a four leaf clover. And one is a heart. It was a Valentine's Day thing. It was awesome. Some sauce. And then I was telling you about my day. I had to take the dog to get groomed today. Well, I was supposed to pick up Wolfman, but his owner wasn't home. I had to take my brother-in-law's truck. Don't particularly like taking it because it's like really high off the ground and I'm not graceful to start with. Well, as I was getting back into the truck at uh, Wolfman's house, because I didn't get to take him, because he decided to go out of town, um, I fell out of the truck. Yeah, I was trying to get back in. I had my legs up there, and all of a sudden, my feet just went boop, and I fell. Yeah, I got out of the truck. Yeah, it hurt. But anyway, I got back in the truck, and I went to the groomers, dropped Missy off, and uh, went to Hobby Lobby. I stopped at Hobby Lobby and decided there wasn't anything there I really needed. It's 30% off. But y'all, their prices are so high for, for a skein of yarn. It's like, it makes me want to scream because I'm like, I'd buy more of their yarn if it was a little more reasonably priced because it's a store brand. It doesn't strike me as being in the same category as like Premier or, you know, any of them. Which I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's just that good, but oh well. Um, so I leave there and I go to Dollar Tree because I love my Dollar Tree. And um, I was going to go to Walmart, but my grandniece told me yesterday that don't go there because these people are crazy. They're buying out all kinds of crazy stuff. So she told me just to skip it. I'm like, okay. Works for me. So you get to Dollar Tree and I go in. We're all actually doing really good at staying about six feet apart from each other, all the customers are. So we're doing really good. I'm using my hand sanitizer. Sand, ooh -hoo, hand sanitizer a lot. So, um, I'm, I'm using an awful lot. They had none in the store. They had no soap in the store, uh, which was kind of odd. I mean, the only thing I could find, which I needed soap anyway, was palm olive, which is what I, I like to use because it's a little more gentle on your hands uh, when you have to wash dishes than just regular Dawn because Dawn's a little abrasive, but it's real Oh no, it's not too abrasive, but it doesn't really keep your hands as, as uh, soft as palm olive. Reminds me of that commercial from long ago. You're soaking in it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, it, it's an old commercial. So I leave Dollar Tree and I don't want to go anywhere else. So I go back to the place where I dropped Missy off and ask him, can I um, pull to the back and just wait there? until they get her ready because um, I really don't want to park anywhere else in town because, you know, they're kind of like moving people along, you know, you need to get on out of here kind of thing. So they said, yeah, so I pulled around back and I turned around so I could come out to straight away because I hate backing that thing up. It's huge. 
So I get messy and we're headed home. And my brother-in-law had said that he was out of wheat bread. So I stopped at this gas station that's not far from here. But they have really good fried chicken. And I was hungry for it. So I stopped there <laughs> to get the fried chicken and noticed that they had uh, some bread. And I asked the lady, did they have wheat bread? And she said, yeah. And she went and got me a loaf. I said, yeah, I know I overpaid for it, guys. But you know what? He can't eat anything but wheat bread. And every store around here is sold out of wheat bread. I have a loaf here. He wouldn't take mine. So, I got his wheat bread, and I got home, and I got all my stuff out, and I took, put the dog down so she could go to the bathroom, then I walked to the back door, waited for her to do her business, and then she walked up, and we went inside. And then um, I put his mail, because I had stopped by the post office, obviously, and his bread on top of the counter, and I got my stuff and I went ahead and walked out the front door and walked across the yard to my house. So, I'm fine right now, right? Oh, I am hurting now. But my sister called and, I mean, texted and said, well, what you doing? I said, I just walked in the door from picking the dog up from the groomers. I said, Wolfman didn't go because Mike wasn't there. And she goes, oh, okay. And then, um... I told her about falling out of the truck, and she goes, you fell? I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, you know I don't, I have problems with the truck. I told you it's not driving the truck that gives me the problems. It's getting in and out of the truck. I fall. She didn't understand what I meant by getting in and out of the truck. Well, on the driver's side, there's nothing to grab onto to pull yourself into the truck like there is on the passenger side. So whenever I go to drive his truck, I always run into issues getting in and out of that truck. Always have. So, I don't know. I'm just going to have to figure something else out on that. But um, he finds out I fell. And he goes, you fell? I'm like, yeah. I said, but, you know, I'm just sore. I said, I got to go. He goes, well, what time is your doctor's appointment? Because i got to go to the doctor tomorrow. Good timing, right? So uh, it's just a refill visit, you know, they have to, they have to get you to come in and pay them money so that they can do your refills. Go figure. So my appointment tomorrow is 10. I thought it was one. And he said, well, you know, I may take you because I, I want to go by and check on my mama. Well, his mother, I think it was yesterday, called and she had fallen and cut her head. Bleed, blood everywhere, you know. Because head wounds bleed like you nobody's business, you know. And when he was at the hospital with her, he couldn't go inside with her. They only allowed one person in the hospital beside the patient. That's it. Nobody else was allowed in the hospital. So... He had to go to the restroom, something awful. So he left and went down the road to the gas station. They had locked their doors. It wasn't open to the public. Went across the street to the Walgreens. Same thing. Across the road to the CBS. Oh, yeah, they're not letting anybody use theirs either. And he said, you know what? I like to never found a bathroom to go to. And I'm like, well, you know, they're just... They're not letting anybody use their stuff right now. I said, everybody's being really serious about this COVID-19. And um, I just watched Summer's video. And, um, of course, her schools are closed, of course. And she was talking about it and talking about doing uh, home homeschooling her kids and doing their lessons online and doing the videos for her kids, you know, on um, YouTube and stuff, and um, I was like, well, you know, my daughter homeschools her kids. She has since my oldest granddaughter has been like four or five. I think she started her at four because she was a very precocious child. So um, 
I told her that. I said, but that's an upside. The downside, my daughter's also an REN. She's considered a first responder, a necessary person to go to work every time. Yeah. Medical people are really putting themselves in harm's way for everybody right now because with the people who have the COVID-19 and then you have all these kids who went to spring break and they're finally figuring out that, you know what, the only reason the elderly people were getting it is because they were exposed to it. The minute they're not exposed to it, the numbers for the other age groups went up. Millennials are getting hit hard, hard. So yeah, not good. Um, all those beautiful kids who went down to spring break and partied on the beach. You can't drink enough alcohol to get rid of COVID. No, no, uh-uh. And it's tearing their lungs slap up. They're going to be on oxygen for most of the rest of their lives. Because there's nothing that can get rid of the scarring and the damage done by this virus to their lungs. Um... So they're being, that's why everybody's so serious about people sheltering in place. After my doctor's appointment, I am not leaving my house again. And I wouldn't be going to my doctor's appointment if I didn't need my prescriptions refilled. And I shouldn't have gone to the dog groomer today. But if I hadn't, I would have never heard the end of it. And she needed to have her uh, hair clipped between her nails because she... She was on her feet because of the hair between her nails. So I got them to cut that real short so that doesn't bother her anymore. And then um let's see what else. Y'all, I I just oh y'all, y'all wouldn't have believed it. I actually walked into Hobby Lobby and I'm looking at the yarn and nothing moved me. I mean it's all beautiful yarn. I mean they have so many beautiful, beautiful yarns. But I don't know what it is. A lot of it just looks the same. It looks blah, 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 blah. I sit there, I love this cotton. You know, that is still my favorite cotton. I don't know why, because it's a really thin cotton, but I do like it. It's soft. It's very easy to work with. Oh, it's so <laughs> easy to work with. If you have to do a dishcloth, do it out of I love this cotton. It's Brilliant. I love it. Although I don't know that it's 100% uh, cotton. I think it's like 85-15. So it might not be good to do like in potholders and stuff. It's better to use 100% cotton for those kind of things. Um, yeah, I've just been trying to be careful. Trying to do my thing. Keep myself from dying to boredom. Um, I'm reading a lot more right now because I don't have a deadline on me about Christmas gifts. I decided to do one of my beautiful subscribers sent me a globe and that's what I'm doing for my Christmas gifts this year. Yeah, I'm not doing big ones again. I can't. I'm just doing everybody globes this year. That's it. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, that was a lot of work. Now, I might, might do a couple of blankets, but probably not. But I'm still working on the white. And, y'all, I did order the Mary Maxim. It came in, and, you know, I, I looked at it, and I said, it looks a little thin. I shouldn't have worried. It's crocheting up beautifully. I knew it would, and it looks so much whiter than that. Red Heart Super Saver. The, the Red Heart Super Saver looks almost like an ecru color next to it. Um, it's 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 hard to explain the difference. It's more like a, a yellowing to the white on the Super Saver. And the white for Mary Maxim is white. There's no getting around it. It's just flat out white. And I love that. Very happy with that. So, uh, look forward to working. I've got a few of the squares done, but they take a little time. You know, those granny squares get you after a while. 
I never did finish the blanket for, I told y'all I might not make it, so I hate that I did, but I'll try and, you know, join in on the next one, I hope. Uh, I, I have made, not made the first hat. Y'all know I have a struggle with hats for the Hats Not Hate campaign. It's a good cause. So those of you who make hats, rock on. If you get a chance to make some hats for that campaign, that, that might be a good thing. I think um, the purpose behind it is is a is a really good idea uh, against bullying. Uh, look, I was bullied my whole life. I don't either makes you stronger or gives you complexes. I'm kind of fifty fifty. <laughs> I, I think that's normal. I, I think a lot of kids go through it. Um, kids can be cruel. And a lot of times they don't know they're being mean. Um, they just say things without thinking. They just blurt it out. I told my daughter it's a good thing she homeschooled my second granddaughter because she is blunt like that. She'll just say it. She, You know, she just... Puts it out there. She's just honest to a fault. Will not lie about anything. Just says it flat out. Tell my daughter, at least you'll be able to tell when she lies. And she goes, oh, yeah. Because her face turns bright red when she lies. I'm like, yeah. Wait till they get older. Then they get better at it. Sucks, but they do. But I can still catch my daughter in a lie. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's the way it works sometimes. But I'm going to go back in here and lay down, put a nice pack on, you know, just chill. <laughs> What's that, Netflix and chill? Mm -mm. I'm not going to watch any Netflix tonight. I'm not in the mood. I'll probably just grab a few more YouTube videos before I go to bed tonight, which won't be too much longer from now. I'm kind of tired. I'm going to. Busy, busy day. Running from here through beyond and doing all this other stuff. Um, we go see his mama tomorrow. I'm going to... I don't know if I should go see her or not because I was just around all those people today. And I wouldn't want to expose her, you know? Because I've heard say that you can, you can be a carrier and not have any symptoms. Oh, that would be horrible, knowing that you're the one that's infecting everybody. Oh. Oh, that would kill me. I'd rather not have any of it, thank you very much. I'd rather just stay with my little antibacterial self. I almost took a thing of Lysol out with me, y'all. Literally, almost did today. Wipe down everything I touch. How funny that way. I'm seriously thinking about doing it tomorrow because I'm going to the doctor's office, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because you never know. I mean, even though it's a doctor's office, uh, you know, there's sick people there. <laughs> yeah. I get a little slap happy towards the end of the night. All right, y'all. As you can tell, it's the middle of the night. Beautiful light. Courtesy. Linda, just a crochet sister. And I uh, told her to stay her happy behind home. I need her to stay healthy. I need all of y'all to stay healthy because you know what? I'm going to be watching you. And, you know, some of us have not so great health issues going on. So I'd prefer that the people that I like to watch... I'll just stay at home because, you know, I want you to keep putting out videos and you won't if you feel bad. And, you know, yeah, I'm being selfish. I know I know I'm being selfish. But please, I've got to have something to watch. And y'all are it right now. So please stay at home. Don't go anywhere and make videos so I can watch them. Please. Oh, my gosh. I will just have a cow if somebody does, you know, get sick with this. 
Hand sanitizer, your best friend. Lysol wipes, your other best friend. Toilet paper, meh, not so much. I mean, because you know, you're not going to die from not having enough toilet paper. Now, cleaning supplies, maybe. But I've got Lysol and Lysol and more Lysol and my antibacterial stuff and my antibacterial soap and my hand sanitizer, so I'm good. Yeah, I, can y'all tell I'm a little nervous? I guess you would say about being without hand sanitizer and stuff. Yeah, that would be me. Because, you know, I, I don't go without it. Also, find out the truck schedule for your Walmart to find out when their stuff comes in. Because when their trucks come in, you can go in the next morning and get the things that you need. Um, because they're going to constantly be restocking. You don't have to buy like a maniac and, you know, stock up on every year a year's worth of food at one time. Grocery stores will still be open. They're still going to have food. That's the only travel you should be doing is going outside to go to the grocery store or to the doctor or the pharmacy. That's it. I have all my medicines mailed to me, except for one, and it's not due yet. I still got two months on it. So keep that in mind. When you need something, you know, just heck, if you need something, let me know. I may have it. <laughs> got so much other stuff. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're talking about they're going to do the uh, box swaps. I'm kind of nervous about those. Because um, you actually have to go to the post office to get one. And I don't know if y'all been in the post office lately, but they ain't the cleanest of places. Now, Summer did say spray Lysol in the box if it makes you feel better. Yeah, that would make me feel so much better. Actually, it would because you know what? It kills all the germs. Yeah, I'm a hypochondriac. I already wash my hands like 15 to 20 times a day. What can I say? I'm, I've, I've had this issue of washing my hands forever. Forever. I wash them. It's like an OCD thing. I have to wash them all the time. I get up, get the sink. I wash my hands before I cook supper. Wash my hands real good. Right after taking supper out of the stove, wash my hands real good. Before I even put it on my plate, wash my hands real good. You know, I'm just washing them like a lot. That's why I go through a lot of soap here. That's why I'm thinking about putting dishwashing detergent in my soap dispenser. Because it's cheaper than that hand soap. And I can order like this big refill thing of it. A lot cheaper than the set, than the other thing. And I can get the antibacterial uh, lawn, uh, dishwashing liquid. Same thing. It's soap. Wash your hands with it. Um, yeah, I use antibacterial and uh, dishwashing liquid too. So, yeah. I wonder if that's going to come back to bite me someday. But I don't care right now. All right, y'all. I went too long again. I get to talking and, you know, just going to town and chatting. But I do need to stop because i got to get it uploaded someday. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And I will talk to you guys later. And have a great night. And have a blessed day. And if you have any questions, I'm going to be doing a, a couple of videos, I hope, again. In the next week or so, I know hopefully within the next week, I've got more videos i got to watch before I do another one um, because I stopped at the S, starting with the G's after this. Mm-hmm. Who's on the G's? I don't know. I'll find out. So I'm going to do a lot of video. going to be watching a lot of videos from the G's on um, 
and then go from there. I have to look them up on my phone and then watch them on my TV so so I can figure out why I subscribe. Because, you know, sometimes you, you have these videos, these these people that you subscribe to, and you have no clue why you subscribe to them all. Because I, I tell you, I got at least 100. At least 100. So, the T's going to take one day, one of their own day, because I have a whole bunch of these. The, 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 these. So, yeah, the T's are going to take a while. But anyway, i got to finish the G's first. So, I will get back with y'all later. And look at this. I still kept talking. Bye, y'all. Have a great week.